for my dinner tonight. Potatoes from my pot. And some kidney beans. And maybe some broad beans. This is the amount of potatoes I got from one box. I went with it, put the saw back in for about half. And these these have been chitting, which means we got little shoots on them. That one there is called an Apache. So I'm gonna just cover it over, start it, and that will be for Christmas. I've taken out all my peas, dig it all up lovely. I'm going I'm to put some broccoli. I've never done it before, but now that I've got the net in that, if I cover it over with another net, Perhaps Mr. Fox and his family won't get at it. And the white butterflies. And of course for my dinner, the broad beans are looking superb. Well, I hope you enjoyed that because I will. Bye for now. Beetroot come along lovely. They are. They're ready for the pot. And my radishes, the radish that the uh, fox trampled is beginning to recover. A few gaps. But you can see how we killed the beans on that row, some of them. And up on this row as well. Nothing I can do about it. <gasps> so disappointing. But that's your lot as a gardener. But they still haven't learned how to pick the raspberries. Yippee! Oh. Very nice. Okay, bye for now. My golden courgettes are nearly there, ripening ready to pick. Another week. I've got two, one there. And one over here. And next to it is my chilli plant. And there's quite a few on there now. Them tiny little ones. They've been little red ones. I tried my tomatoes, one has ripened it this morning, so I tried it and it was very nice. I planted on my broccoli. I'll let you know if it's successful. I've been already a year to see those having a go. This is my pea harvest. I have to pick them all now because uh, they were beginning to go over. I can't eat them fast enough. So they'll be going in the freezer. 